I'm Gus Van Sant. I am a filmmaker from Portland, Oregon. I don't. No, I'm not a photographer. <laughs> um, Matthew Orlean from the French Cinematheque um, proposed an exhibit of film materials for their museum in Paris. And I said, okay. So this is the assembly of, of materials that you're seeing. Um, well, I was, uh, I was an artist um, kind of first, and somewhere in there I, uh, I was using the family uh, still f uh, camera. And I was also um, printing pictures a little bit. Um, and also, and during that time, I decided to use a movie camera and started making experimental films um, in, say, um, 1968 or so. And I was, a, I was partly influenced by the um, New York uh, underground uh, filmmaking scene, mostly who were uh, painters. Um, and I was scratching on film and drawing on film and making experimental pieces until I went to art school for, for painting, but then um, also decided um, to work in film at that time. Um, I think it was just working with film, uh, not so much the photography, it was pretty much directly working with film. Well, these, the pictures in this room were generally used for casting purposes. I was, um, um, f from the early days of making films, I was um, needing to have a record of what the actors that I met looked like. And these are pictures that were taken during the session uh, that, where I met the actor. Um, generally, I, um, at the end of the meeting, which might be just speaking to the actor, or it might be that they would read a scene from the script, I would ask if I could take a picture, and um, I usually take just one picture, and then they were, they were gone. So these, these are all almost like exclusively just one shots of recording of, of what they looked like that I could use later to um, kind of assemble a cast in a film. It was for casting, so it was not for an exhibition. I was aware that I might be able to have an exhibition, and I started to shoot on um, film that contained a negative. Um, Polaroid 665 film had a negative, and uh, with the idea that I could make big blow-ups, which, which I did in the next room, the bigger ones. And I did have an exhibition at one point in Portland, Oregon, and there was a book made, uh, 108 por Portraits. And um, so I was using those in an art sense, but I was, I was really making them out of those visits. I would put them against a window that I, I was kind of, uh, you know, um, assuming that the light would be nice too. So I was, I was putting them in a particular place in the room or outside in the hall. No, no, they were um, just in a, you know, uh, a box. There's more too, these aren't all of them. Um, they were made from uh, around 1988 to 1998, so during those 10 years. There were about 500 of them. Well, I, I'm tempted to do that kind of thing. This last film that I made, uh, I was working the camera. Um, on Malanoche, which was my first film, I was able to move pretty quickly. I, I wasn't operating the camera usually. Um, I had a DP. But um, 
Um, yeah, I'm sort of heading that direction. Um, well, I think that like cinematography is is involved in photography, but it, it's moving, so it's something that you kind of do. Um, it's related, but at the same time, it's um, it's made out of different elements. So um, the cinematography, I've always like um, felt that it. It's about the movement, and more than it is about, say, the the graphics of a photograph. Um, I think that it's um, it's a logical kind of step. Um, photography itself was a pretty complicated and um, invention in a way. Um, in some ways it's simple, but um, the photochemical um, photography that we've, we've been doing is, um, is kind of, uh, you know, wild in the idea that you're using these different chemicals. Um, digital has its own wildness, I think. Um, it, um, digital was, was has been kind of this amazing thing that's like sucked everything into it. Like you can do anything digitally, <laughs> seemingly. So, um, uh, my, my relationship to it is pretty basic. I think that when the digital image became more uh, film-like, filmmakers started using it, it became more acceptable, still photographers started using it. Um, it seems to me, like at this point, almost the same thing. Um, I'm sure the photographers upstairs would disagree. I'm not sure what is upstairs, but um, it's, you know, like a recording device. So, um, you know, it, so long as it can, can carry the color correctly and, um, you know, represent what you're seeing, then, um, you know, the lenses become sort of like the desired um, kind of origin, you know, of the photograph as much as the, as the, f the recording device. Um, they're both like great. No, I mean a phone that has a camera in it, but no, I don't. I do, you know, just to record things. It's not to make like a photograph. It's more, I, you know, I see something design-wise that I want to remember. I think um, Robert Frank's early photographs, um, Eggleston, William Eggleston. I've um, been a fan of his. I'm not really um, terribly versed in photography to be able to name off a lot of people. Those two, um, Joel Peter Witkin is great. I think there's a photo of him in here somewhere. Um, over there. Um, I've met those three. Um, no, they haven't really been involved in my career. Um, it's, um, the photography was always something secondary to film and, uh, and painting. Well, because I'm not really using it, um, I'm using the film camera, but I'm not really using the photography except for casting. Um, in a way that, you know, participates in what I do, you know. I, I, uh, I have, I have um, used it in, I guess, paintings I've made. I've used photographic images um, to make things, collages, but photography as 
as its own discipline, I haven't really um, um, mastered, I don't think. Uh, right, I think. Um, I haven't, I don't draw a lot any longer. I used to. Um, um, I'm usually writing if I'm doing something. Well, usually um, the photography I'm making is pretty um, utilitarian, so I'm not I'm not just throwing myself into like a, a situation where I'm pulling photographs out of, you know, the, my surroundings. I, I'm, I'll have a camera sometimes with me, but it'll be rare when I take a photo. Um, well, yeah, I mean, they're all coming from like an inspiration to make usually a film, all this stuff in, in this collection. Um, there are a few paintings, I don't know, I didn't see some of the paintings, the bigger paintings. Oh, oh they're upstairs? Yeah. Oh. Um, those are standalone paintings, um, not related to films. And then most of the photography, I mean the collages of photo from the photographs were made as a result of a show of these um, Polaroids in kind of a relationship to kind of, there was a gallery that wanted to me to do something with the photographs, but it's still related to the photographs. Um, pretty much everything's in service of developing a movie. Um, I am not sure if I could label one, you know, that everything was part of something. I don't know if there's a key. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure. I'm a bad salesman, especially for myself. Thank you so much. All right, thanks.